cumbersome and clean. 50 cups of tea, right as rain, agile and erudite. Whistle me through the street avenue with a mug of sodden brew. Add slaps of charity that can be given accordingly and always with a simple sheen. Light as mice the hill, eh boy? The soft filament in their husk unconsolable. The twigs in my arms. The day starts in bitter crayon. The night in a butchered charcoal. Bottle me the fragrance of the air, young gent. For waxing away those trials of spirit and man. All can be bought, free at large, in the company of the glory of an elm tree, its voice unheard, but most know its tenor. Shimmy and shake the night to dawn. See the beasts of the village partake, mothers barely adrift, fathers spin to death's keel, the bane's are eager jobs ain't similar, gone are days of prosperous, fucking this or that is thy gold of respite and rescue. Gorgeous antique country living, lovers of the city romance, see it from a train while villagers repent. Thou art cheap rent. Epic views, loneliness, but big, big landscapes to stuff the need for company in spades. Dagger me a good slice, my lovely. Hell's bells, the rain heckles, the birds rekindle. A light is barely seen in a village, but the walker finds his pace. The light is a mighty grain, no pictures can come out in this, but thank heaven, as this is primal bliss. From the oldest shore of civilization. To the most present plonker, to the sheepish and the proud, the robust and the whimsical, we climb through the chameleon of the seasons, battle with a smile the treachery of our weather, settle for a clear hour of sunlight or a frog creeping up a meadow to counter all the incessant smog, the tide that smoulders all our edges in turn. It was you, was it not, that saw me on that hill? Thought, who was that funny fella sitting for what looked like no reason whatsoever? Yes, sir, it was me, but I did have something to say, but instead of using the words I were taught from books and school, I let me thoughts meet and greet the scenery. The tableau, without a cast, need not feel lonesome up here, sir. Looking down there and peering at the swallows above. Majestic, but without the price tag. A feeling faith only can perfume. Hearing in the cave of ancestors, soldiering each step without consolation from a fella or a lass. The city lights and sparkle won't fare in a valley that looks like a bedsit or Satan's hair. But fear not, breath in the fresh, forgot your map and you'll be welcomed. Bombastic, idiotic, so heavenly out of touch, 
those withered formalities, that treason of formality, the Antichrist, wrapped in once bespoken linen, now looking like an ox, was one too many. The old timers look at them as feeble, but are secretly in awe, for there is no gallery or bookstore, so people will have to do. Ever wonder why they stare and stare without a shortage of breath? Don't worry, my dear. They are just more curious, much more inquisitive than those big shots in the capital. Coffee table book, are you having a laugh? There was once trade. There was once hope. Now we look at the grains and hope to more than a god for some miracle that's better than that sun. Yet the tide is going out and a generation below seems not to hear the slow, the mysterious, the inarticulate, wondrous amazement that the soil and land can undulate without a vocal cord. A chorus is always present. Voices dash among twig to oak. The bones of the past are always in bloom. Show respect. Where's your manners? For I can brush you whole without an inch of regret. For I am nature, and you must never forget. You come and go like a documentary, but with the veterans who foot the bill and know not our portrait, it's prestige that you've kept smug and swell in your pocket. With our image, thanks for the frame, you mighty middle-class tosspot. Did I speak out of turn? No bother with the formalities here, Petal. Keep your shins clean, your mouth sharp, your house spick and span, and no one will mess you about. You hear?